Hi, thanks very much for clicking on the link. My name is Natalie Armstrong Moton, and I am joined today for an idle chat for the American Bar Association's Section for Dispute Resolution by colleague TGOK in Abuja, Nigeria, one of my favorite places on the planet. How are you today, TGOK? I'm very well, Nathaniel. I'm very well, I'm very well. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. So, TGOK, I have about 120 random questions that I've written up on these cards. So we'll just shuffle the cards and get started having our idle chat together. All right, sir. If there were an adult version of a children's ice cream truck that would roll down your street and play music and serve you any kind of food, what food would your ice cream truck be serving you and what kind of music would they be playing? Mm. Is that, is that uh, sorry, does that relate to me peculiar, uh, particularly or is it a general, uh, uh, does that, uh, is that restrictive to me or whatever I feel it should be? It is as you wish. Let's make it all about you. Okay. Well, if it was, I, I, I normally, um, um, I would enjoy, um, I'll enjoy a song that has to do with, um, as I'm enjoying the ice, licking the ice cream at that particular time, a, a song that will also re remind me that um, it's not all about licking the ice cream. Uh, it's not only about the flavor of the ice cream, but a song that has to do with, uh, I, I normally like, um, I like Christian songs. I like traditional songs. Uh, these are the two genre of uh, um, songs I like, the Christian and the traditional songs. So I'm sure if I sing one of them, you might not understand what I'm singing. So <laughs> there'll be no need of singing it. I don't know whether that made a, a bit of sense to you. But I appreciate the sentiment, I'm sure. Uh, TGOK, do you like for things to be tightly and rigidly planned out? Or are you really flexible and you just like to go with the flow and be spontaneous? Oh. Most times, uh, I'm not. Uh, I I I'm, I'm not. I'm a bit. Uh, well, I like to plan my things out. But if it doesn't work that way, I don't get. Um, I'm not. I, I get fixated on things occasionally. But if it doesn't work out, I think I don't. Um, I just let it go. I don't. Uh, I don't overburden myself within my plans. If I think I work out and they do, they do not eventually materialize the way I thought them out. Yes, I thought I could get a bit moody, but I could just, in, before the next day, I'll let it go. I won't allow it to weigh me down completely so they get to the extent of depression. That does not mean that I might not be a bit anxious or worried that why didn't those plans work out, but I won't allow it, more, tops, more than a day, I'll just let it go. I won't, I won't allow it to weigh me down more than a day. All right, excellent. So, you like both? Yeah, so... Did you okay? Did you eat breakfast today? I did. I did. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, well, I don't know if you have that in your. I don't know whether you have that in France. I had um, indomie and egg. There's something we call we eat over here called indomie. Indomie noodles. The noodles. Indomie noodles and egg. And other. Pardon? Tell me what that is. Wow, um, indomie noodles is I think is is um manufactured by the Chinese. I think, or oh, oh, sorry, Indians, yeah, Indians. I understand it's Indians that manufacture indomie noodles. Uh, so that's what I had this morning with a bit of vegetable because I have to make sure my food has a, a lot of vegetables in it because I'm getting quite old with a lot of eggs and uh, noodles and vegetables. So I like to be very particular about what I eat. So that's what I had a very simple meal. It sounds really good, and you're not getting that old. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next question is... I'm getting older. You're, I'm getting older. you're not. All right. The next yeah. question. Where is the most comfortable place you've ever slept? Whoa. My room. Your room that My you have now? Yes, my house, my room, yes. It's always been the most comfortable place I can ever think of. Uh, Thus far, I've ever slept in, yes, my room, in Good. my house. Good. Good for you. Good for you. 
All right. Gigi, okay. If you had to go for one whole month completely off the grid, would you consider that a nightmare or would it be a great vacation? Wow. The way, the way things are around me now with a lot of projects, the timelines I have to meet, uh, a lot of projects, the timelines I have to meet. If I have to go off one whole month and those projects are met, those timelines are met. I'll consider it a, a worthwhile vacation. In fact, I'll run to it immediately. I'll even extend it beyond one month. All right. Fair <laughs> enough, my friend. Fair enough. Um, if you had an opportunity to be the designer for a new banknote for Nigeria or any other country, you've been hired to be the designer. What face would you put on the banknote? What face? Um, wow, what face would I put? That's a funny one. You know, Nigeria is a diverse place. So whatever face I would like to put, I'd like to put a face that has, that has to portray unity. That has to portray unity, that has to portray hard work and merit. These are the three key points. And of course, um, adherence to the God factor. But, um, you know, these four points, I like to put them across. You, uh, I like to have something that has to speak for unity, has to speak for hard work, merit, and for us to all know that there is a sovereign being called God. These four things that will be very key for me. If it has any face, if these four things have any face to go under, then that's what I would choose. That's what I would put there. Okay. All right. You're the designer. It can look any way you wish. Yeah. All right, sir. Are you a fan of the movies? Oh, I'm a fan of the movies, but surprisingly, I'm not a fan of um, your 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 own movies. But I have a well. I I, I if I can remember a little bit. Um, when I was much uh, okay, I'm a fan of movies, but I don't have them offhand. The names offhand, but I, I watch I watch some movies when I, I when I'm in the mood. Yeah, I do watch some movies. All right. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the movies myself, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic. It seems I've watched more movies love, than I... I love watching... I love. I, I watch a lot of TV. In fact, when I was a little child, uh, my dad complained about being too much uh, engrossed in watching TV. I hardly read a lot. I didn't, re I didn't have the, 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 the interest in reading a lot of books. I only read newspapers because I liked to know about the news, the current affairs. I think also that one actually attracted me. I love I love sports. I love, so I read all those things, but not part I wasn't a fan of novels, but I was a fan of reading biographies, you know, a lot of sports too. All good things. All good things, yeah. All right. Next question, sir. Do you have a good luck charm? Oh my God. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in luck. Now, to me, there's nothing like luck. I just believe. Um, I think it's all about. Um, I don't believe in luck. I just believe in um, grace. That's you know the grace. I'm more like I believe in grace. There's no no provision for luck in my dictionary, my life activities. I believe in grace. Just good preparation. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, Chichi, okay. How many languages do you speak? <laughs> wow. Well, uh, I speak the English language and I speak my, my native tongue. I speak about two languages, basically, which is very poor, uh, which is actually very poor because I, I, I speak about two languages only, English and uh, Igbo. I'm Igbo. Uh, uh -huh. And if those are the two languages I speak, which is actually very, very poor, uh, which is poor. Then uh, there's, uh, there's the, the, another means we get across within the range called Pidgin English. Uh, we have Pidgin English where you break, most African countries have that, um, have that as what you can use in communicating with them. These three, uh, three languages are the three languages I speak, but I, I consider it very being poor because now I would have preferred to have had the ability because we were exposed to having this 
knowledge. I would have preferred to have the ability to speak a bit, a good, at least speak a lot of good French, the French language. I'll have, I'll have one, as now I'll have desire to speak the French language. I'll have also desired to speak Spanish because now as a mediator, I have a lot of Spanish friends. I have a lot of Spanish friends. So, um, you know, I have to now quickly have a device in my phone where I have to translate. If I'm typing to them, if I'm sending an email or whatever, I have to quickly translate. But if I, if it came to me naturally, if it was an offhand master, I wouldn't have done, I wouldn't have bothered about translating. And I've just, you know, as a touch come out, I just post. But, you know, this, uh, you know, I, have, I, I, I feel bad that I'm not, I don't, I do not speak more than the languages I've just mentioned. If I had the opportunity again, I will. Yeah, I don't think you should feel okay. badly about that. We're, we're never too old to add more languages. Well, I hope to. I, I'm, I'm making efforts, picking up little by little. Uh, some of the words I never know, as I'm translating, I'm, I'm noting them and learning to see how I can uh, flow with them eventually. Good. Good for you. Well, Kiji, okay, thank you so much for spending some time with me during our, our idle chat for the American Bar Association. I have just yeah. one more question for you. And that is, what do you love most about the resolution industry? Wow. What I love most about the resolution industry, and that is what has actually formed a mantra for me, that there is no better time for the process of mediation than now. So basically what I want, what I love most about the mediation process or the resolution process is that it's, it's, it just gives a win-win for all there's you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not you don't feel left out because even if you go to even if you run the hall of litigation the next party the other party always feels i've been cheated out wants to appeal wants to keep appealing to the higher courts till he or she gets justice but once you walk out from that mediation session you know because you are part of the process you know you're part of the process because it's a party's process you feel more at ease you're happier with yourself that you contributed to making a way out of any dispute that arose between you and the other disputants. So, you know, it gives you a, a sense of fulfillment. And there's nothing greater than one as, an, as a human being having a, a sense of fulfillment, a sense of belonging, that I contributed to something that had to do with me in any matter, instead of being left at the third party's discretion. So I love that about the resolution process. It makes you feel... You know, in that, apart from that winning situation, you're fulfilled as a human being. You are at peace, basically. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. It was a great pleasure getting to know you a little bit better, Chiji OK? And uh, I hope that everything goes well for you and your loved ones there in Abuja, Nigeria. Again, one of my favorite places on the planet.